<laughs> hey, good morning. Monique Head here, relationship coach to single women of faith who are ready for a relationship. And I teach you how to use your feminine allure to attract and communicate with the right man and then use those same skills to improve other areas of your life. So as you can see, I'm in a different backdrop area. I'm at a conference or I'm waiting for a, a seminar, not a conference, but really a seminar to begin. And it's just got a hair done. So at the, at the time of recording this video, I'm two days away from my due date. Anyway, if you find that you're a woman and you've you feel a little rough around the edges and you struggle with finding love because of it, welcome, you're in the right place. I know that you want to be in an awesome relationship with a masculine man and you want to honor God with your body. And that's the conflict for you. The conflict is that you're meeting many and you're you're a Christian woman, you're a woman of faith, um, but the men want to engage in sexual activity. Oh, they want to have sex with you. <laughs> and it's not a bad thing. Be grateful that men find you sexually attractive nowadays. Um, and so here's here's what I want you to know. I'm beginning some emails saying that, you know, um, I'm, you know, even the deacons in the church and the pastors and this, this and that and that and this, all these men, they just want to they just want to have sex. They just want to have sex. And so because of that, you want to take yourself out of the game and not date men and just kind of wait for the person that you want to come along. Well, the truth is, don't don't do that. Don't take yourself out of the game. And here's why you're doing it. It's because, pardon me, I just had a little continental breakfast. As you, as you can tell, I'm, I'm waiting for a seminar to start here. So I'm the only person in this, in this room. So I said, let me cut a video real quick because I just got this email. And so anyway, I, um, I said it to say that don't take yourself out the game. The challenge right now that you're experiencing is that you don't trust yourself. You don't trust yourself to keep your own commitments. And so what's happening is rather than honoring your word, you're putting the responsibility on the man to keep you holy. And it's not up to him. It's up to you because you have influence. Men want their spiritual standards to be raised. And I'm not just saying, oh, it's all in the woman. It's all in the woman. It's all in the woman. But you have to know who you are and what you want because you have influence. Remember, we influence men more than they influence us. OK. And so what it's going to take for you is to keep that vertical vertical alignment and that vertical connection with God because God will keep you if you want to be kept. But I know it's difficult. This I'm not saying this to judge. I've been through this, right? Because if you're like me, you're highly susceptible. You're easily influenced. You bend easily. And this can be really, really difficult. And you just want that man to be like to, to lead you. But guess what? You have to lead yourself first. So that man, because you, you, there are so many men, like you wouldn't believe the number of men, the amount of men who would actually make an attempt to practice celibacy with you, but it cannot come from, oh, you know, you don't want to put that out there in the beginning. I ain't having sex and I ain't doing this and come from the Bible thumping and all that other stuff. But if you invite a man to journey along with you, if you're coming because you're excited about what was taking place in your life, if you, if you are living this out, if you become a living testimony, not by, not by your words, but, but by your life and you say, Hey, you know what? This is the journey that I'm on. I'm really excited about it. And this is just where I am right now. And, you know, I, I understand that this is really rare and it may not be what you want. But if you if it sounds good to you, and if you like a challenge, we can absolutely do this together. And don't be mad when he tests you either. Because that's what men do. They test. Right? It's part of their duty anyway. Because we do it too. All right. So I hope that this information served you. If it did, I want to invite you to click on the link below in the description box for my complimentary video series. It's called Be the Woman Who Gets Everything That She Wants, especially for men. We got some people coming in, so I'm going to hurry up. <laughs> All right, Monique, i here. See you in the next video. Take care and God bless. Bye.